and welcome. This is Silvia Camerini from PregnancySqueen.com and you are watching my weekly oracle readings for all the women who are mothers. This is the reading for the week ahead from February 22nd through uh, February 28th, 2016. And today I'm going to do something different. I've got my deck of cards here. My deck is the magic path and I'm going to shuffle it here with you. And I'm asking the cards, you know, which message they want you to know, which message I need to share with you in order for you to be inspired and to find that extra hint, that extra guidance that you need to, to know for the next seven days ahead. So let's see what is coming up. I'm going to shuffle here. Mm, okay. This one. And this is one more. Okay. This one. Okay, let's see. So the first card. Oh, I love these two cards. The first card is motivation. And it says, which is the crisp breeze that moves you forward? Keep on going. Your destination is on the horizon. And we've got a wonderful boat here that is sailing the sea and there is the land on the horizon. So this is an upright card as well. So it makes me think about, you know, that special spark that helps you to wake up each and every morning. That special light inside yourself that says to you, you are on the right path. This is your route. Look at on the horizon, you can see land down there, so you are on the right um, route, on the right road. This is your own road. But also the card asks you, which is the crisp breeze that moves you forward? So you know that the direction is the right one, because you can see your destination at the end uh, of the horizon. But the card asks you to look inside yourself and find that special motivation that has pushed you so far and until where you are today, you know. And so the card is inviting you to reconnect with that special motivation so that you can find the last uh, empowering wave to move forward until you finally reach the, the land. It feels to me as if you just need, you know, a little extra push, a little extra encouragement, that little extra um, word of hope that tells you, you are almost done. You are almost reached your destination, your goal. So keep on going. This is what I feel that comes from this card. And, you know, it also reminds me that you are the boat. That means you are the queen of your life. You are the queen of your maternity. You are the queen of your pregnancy, of your childbirth. So if you are pregnant right now, as I usually say each, each week, you know, this card may say to you that maybe your pregnancy is almost at the end and you are approaching your childbirth. Let's say that the childbirth is like the horizon. So you can see your childbirth down there. You can start to imagine it the way you want it. And this card is telling you, go ahead, keep on going with all your ideas, all your desires, all your needs, put them together in your boat, you know, and go ahead until you reach land. So until you arrive at your childbirth and you can finally live it the way you want. Because, you know, when you reach the land there, you can finally relax and be yourself after all the journey you've been doing so far. Instead, if you are um, an expert or a new mom, you have already given birth to your babies, this card reminds me that, yes, you are the boat of your maternity and life in the way that you own your power. You own the power to bring your boat wherever you want. So you are the captain of, of this boat and use your powers. 
remind yourself the motivation that brought you on this boat, on this journey, and keep on going because you are almost there. You are almost arrived where you want to arrive. The second card is Air Birth. It's actually the first time that I picked this card for these weekly oracles. And I love it so much, you know, because it gives me a um, sense of new beginning. This card says, the energy of the wind blows its living force on you. It's a spiritual birth. So if you think about the air and you think about your breathing, when you breathe, you inhale, you bring the air inside yourself. And the air, it's like spirit. So it's like you are nourishing your body with more and more spirit. Each time that you breathe and you inhale, you bring more spirit inside yourself. So you enrich your whole being with this powerful force. And this is what this card is reminding you this week. It's a new birth. So you are giving birth to yourself. It's a new beginning and it's very airy, you know. So it's plenty of that vibration that the wind brings when it comes. The breeze brings that crispy air. The same actually that we found in the first card, you know, the, the crispy breeze that moves you forward. You can find it actually even in this rebirth. It's a, it's a kind of coming to the world again in a more light and delightful way. If you've been maybe um, a little bit worried about something or you felt, uh, you know, the weight of something of a particular circumstance or situation or relationship in your life so far, now it's a new beginning. It feels to me as if you can fly out at this air ball that is flying out and it's plenty of colors, the colors of the rainbow, actually. And we got this little baby, this newborn child that is showing up and it's like saying to you, this is your new life. And you know what, what comes to me as well when I look at this car is that there is a sense of relief as well. Because it's like when you... You leave the earth and you feel yourself uplifted, up, up and up in, in the sky, you know. It's like you are flying high and it's a wonderful opening and widening feeling for you. This is what comes to me. And also there is some blue, light blue in this, in this card with soft clouds and this makes me think again that maybe you are even more able to communicate to others the new you, the new you that you became. And we got also some shining stars in this card so they remind me that there is magic in this new life that you are living right now. Wow, it seems really exciting. There is one more thing that I want to remind you before we end this oracle for this week. And it's the full moon that happens on February 22nd. This full moon, you know, it's a time of completion, a time of illumination and revelation. So you may find a message, you may find a person, someone or something that reveals something to you. And that new detail may bring some light into your life. Also, as this full moon happens in Virgo, that is an earth sign, it makes me think that for all that regards your needs, your dreams, your expectations, your relationships, you feel the need to bring them to an earthly level, an earthly dimension and make them concrete. So what else can I tell you? A full moon, it's also time to let go and to release, your, to release yourself and something from yourself. It's perfectly linked, in my opinion, to our second card, the air birth. So it's like the air balloon, you know, there is 
uh, going up to the sky and this is the same for you let it go let your life to fly high and touch the unlimited sky this is it for this week. If you like this video, you can follow me through my website www.pregnancyscreen.com or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel to get all the updates every time I upload a new video. Also, if you want to book your personal library with me, you can contact me through my website www.pregnancyscreen.com slash programs slash magic oracles. And I will be pleased to share the messages that the oracles has for you. Thank you so much for following me. See you next week with another message of hope, wisdom and love for all the moms.